Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Goat Show. I am here with Scott Donald, a person that specializes, his whole passion is driven around helping people achieve greater mental and physical fitness, as well as stress management. And what I gotta say is this guy's literally, his whole life's revolved around it. He's got a bunch of people uh, joining him on this mission. Incredible people that you've probably heard of, I know you've heard of, and, uh, and I'm excited to talk with Scott. He's the owner of uh, Apex, as well as my first sale and happy. We're gonna talk a little bit about, about what each one is. His big business, the one that I'm really excited about, I like them all, but happy uh, is a company that's drawn a lot of attention, has already gone public. So everyone, welcome Scott Donald. Scott, welcome to the show. Great to be here, Mike. Thanks for having me. Oh, man, I'm excited. So, so happy, which by the way, is not spelled H-A-P-P-Y. Uh, <laughs> it's spelled is H-A-P-B-E-E, -E, right? That's right. It's a B. There's the logo is a B. Okay. And so, yeah. And no one's going to be able to buy happy.com with PPY. So we had to change it up a little bit. So happy. Got it. Got it. Happy. And so talk to me about really quickly, what is happy? What, what's the goal of it? And then I want you to share with the audience so they understand how real this thing is. Because there's a lot of stuff out there that you know, let's let's be real. It's like the wearable bracelets that didn't really do much and all that stuff. Your yeah. stuff's different. So after you say uh, what it does, what I want you to then share, are who are some of the people joining you on this mission because they believe in it so damn much? Uh, this is a revolutionary technology that can help you choose how you want to feel. We're basically... It sounds crazy, but we can mimic the effects of certain compounds and, and molecules that you would put in your body, like coffee. We have an alert signal that literally you click on the app and unlimited, you can feel uh, higher energy, more um, increased heart rate, and you're ready to go in the morning. Uh, we have muscle relaxants that literally help melt your muscles. We that's with a signal. We have sleepy which mimics a sleep aid. So you don't have to put anything that's harmful in your body. No toxins, no chemicals, pills, whatever. You know all the potions people throw in their, their body. So that's, that's the idea is we can give it to you through the click of a button. This is about 15 years in coming, eight, uh, 38 patents, $80 million invested in this technology. The founder is the same guy who made Cialis, the inventor of Cialis, with a team of about a dozen PhDs up in Seattle. And... Uh, yeah, so the idea is you put it on like this. If you, people are watching, you can put it on your forehead. You can put it under your shirt. I usually wear it like this. Kind of look like Iron Man under your shirt. That turns off if you want. And play it however much you want. I, I usually use it three, four hours a day. We got thousands upon thousands of people using this thing as well. And uh, they're enjoying it. But yeah, wow. and then you know all the you know crazy people involved in this thing? Yeah. Okay, so well... The, this is, this is a great story of how goats are created, okay? Dan Sullivan, he's been using this thing every day for six months. He's like the top coach of entrepreneurs nationwide. He's, he's the guru. And his first call was to Joe Polish, and, who is founder of Genius Network. I'm sure a lot of your audience has heard. Joe yep. Polish tries it out and says, oh my gosh, you've got to meet all these other people. So his first call was... Not only did he invest, but Dave Asprey, right? Uh, the founder of biohacking um, up in the Northwest. And so Dave tries it out, the focus and the alert signals and sleepy. And he fell in love right away, invested and shared it with the world. And so- And, and for everyone, uh, it doesn't maybe know that biohacking, they, a lot of people know Bulletproof and Dave Asprey is the Bulletproof guy. That's right. That's right. So, and then it's just kind of gone from there. You know, Peter Diamandis is using this thing. Tiffany Haddish just started using us, sent one to Tony Robbins a little bit ago. Um, Kevin Harrington, the original shark on Shark Tank. I mean, this thing is ever since going public, this is people are finding out about it left and right. Got it. So it's a muscle relaxant or it can be used muscle relaxant. It can help with sleep. It can help with stress. It can help with mood. Basically what I'm hearing is we could, stop opening up all the cannabis shops throughout the country. Is that what Because we, we just got happy now. Hey. We get happy without it now. That's right. That's right. We're, <laughs> we're a tool in the tool belt, man. Like you need good sleep. You need good diet. You need good exercise every day. And I would say throw happy on that list. This is, a, this is like the future of mental wellness, man. I mean, you, we want to get people off of substances that might hurt them. 
pills that might hurt them, chemicals that might hurt them. And our technology can literally in our labs up in Seattle, we study and analyze certain compounds and we figure out how to imitate those sensations in the body using these very, very precise magnetic fields. So when, when I say like muscle relaxants, we literally took those and studied them and found out a 20 million data point frequency that can help your cells start to feel the similar sensa sensation of those. That's bizarre. How it's crazy. Like what kind of scientists do you have to get in order to know how to even know to, to research that? Yeah, you, this, the story is even crazier. This is uh, 18 years in the making. Um, the founder of, the inventor of Cialis, Dr. Kenneth Ferguson, he and Mike Butters and a whole host of other PhDs, um, you know, engineers, physicists, uh, molecular uh, physicists, like crazy, like think of like Independence Day. No. <laughs> okay. Those no. people, uh, they, they had this crazy idea that, you know, what if, um, what if all molecules are connected through sound? This was string theory. This is Einstein said this. Okay. Richard Feynman said this Tesla said this, what if all things are connected by sound and frequency and electrons really? I mean, so Mike, go inside your cells in your body and you're made of DNA. Inside of your DNA is atoms. That's it. We're all made of just atoms. And those are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Just energy, okay? So this is how we communicate. Our cells communicate this way. Our bodies communicate this way. All of plants and animals communicate this way, right? Um, and so that was their ideas. Man, what if, what if certain molecules have a, a frequency to them and how do we record that? <laughs> and so what they found is this naval technology called magnetometers. And they found the company that helped the Navy build these magnetometers, which are the world's most powerful recording devices for, for frequencies and magnetic signatures. Like I'm, I'm talking a 2000 mile radius to find where these nuclear Russian subs are in the Pacific. That's what the Navy does with the tech, okay? Because, a, a, you know, a sub has, a naval sub has, you know, they have an output. There's a magnetic reading that comes off of these nuclear subs, okay? Right. So they took this tech and they thought, okay, let's see if we can li listen internally instead of externally. So they built Faraday cages around these propane tank looking things. They spent four or five years working on it. Finally got their first reading uh, of, a, of the molecule. In fact, the parent company in Seattle, Emulate, is working on cancer. Right now, they're, they're in FDA trials for brain cancer to help people with signals, okay? They're working on pain next. There's so many things that we can do with this technology when you start to understand all of the different various molecules that interact with your body, stimulants, hormones, suppressants, all these different things that come into your body to affect you. What if we could replicate those and imitate those uh, through a, a, a signature, a frequency? Dang. So... Yeah. So I, I heard uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he talked a lot about frequencies and how things are connected with them. I don't know if you've, you've ever listened to him or gotten to hear any oh, yeah. of this. So what, are your, what are your thoughts on him? Because he seems to be kind of barking up the same tree, but I don't know if it's exactly connected. No, I mean, I, I think he's, well, first of all, he's brilliant. You don't get that famous and smart without being a genius. Um, I think I agree with a lot of what he says. I don't know exactly his position. I don't think he even knows about happy yet, but I absolutely know his stances on, um, sound in the body. Okay. Um, you know, did you know that your brain has an actual frequency? Like your brain hums at like 72 megahertz, your heart has a frequency. If you take an electrocardiogram and you put it up against your heart, any doctor will show you, like it has a megahertz output. Our bodies function this way. Uh, it's, it's how everything is connected. So, um, you know, if you, if you talk to Neil deGrasse Tyson or any, any other of these theoretical physicists, they will, they will start to explain to you that it's not just the material world, okay? There is, <laughs> there is quantum physics. There, there is connection at a subcellular level, subcellular level, um, between all things. And that's what we're trying to tap into. The problem is no one's ever had the tech to be able to do what we're doing, right? I mean, this is 38 patents, 80 million bucks. 
Um, it took forever, right? But now we're, this is like the first product people can actually try to give them these types of sensations. Now, the, you know, you talk about replacing possibly like medication by using stuff like this. And there's certain medications and drugs that will cause people to be almost an entirely different person. Could it get that strong? So for example, things that will make you become more giving to the truth, right? Like you're like a truth serum. Truth serum. <laughs> yeah, like could you use this in an investigative approach to go ahead and get somebody to tell you what's going on um, at a stronger yeah. level? And also for people that are having a, a difficult time like uh, express themselves or, or like kids that have stress, like major stress, could you, could it get that strong or is it just slight changes in mood? Yeah. So great question. As the public company CEO, uh, I have to first tell you, we're not trying to make medical claims here. Okay. Our parent company emulate is going through FDA with a lot of big trials right now. We're, we are the consumer wellness product. Okay, it's a mental wellness. So we're doing things like moods, feelings, our signals are sleepy, alert, relaxed, calm, happy, which the happy signal actually mimics a couple of happy hour drinks. Uh, A little bit of a buzz, yep, a little euphoria. You can get get buzzed by wearing that thing around your neck. Heck yes, that's why we started the darn thing. What if you wore seven of them around your neck? (laughs) Well, (laughs) all right, that is is not the first time I've been asked. It doesn't work like that. It's it's like if you put a microphone against an amp at a concert, it goes it's like they ruin each other. So you have to have a pure signal. But, you know, we are starting with subtle, nice, you know, general wellness feeling. So you get a sensation, right? Um, and people click it. And after a few minutes, sometimes 10, 20 minutes, sometimes it takes a few tries, they start to get the sensations of each of the signals. And the more you do it, the the more, the faster you feel it. And so, you know, most of our customers right now, they're, they're happy as a clam with the signals we're giving them. It's enough. There is a, there is a handful of customers, I'd say about 10 to 20%. They're like, and kind of like me too, I want more. I'd like to get a stronger signal. So in our labs right now, we've got another dozen that we're working on to increase the power um, to make it, you know, quickly, more quickly to feel it. Also different types of signals that are stronger. Like we have a kind of a low grade sleepy and a high grade sleepy. We want to have a, we have an alert that's going to be much more alert, stronger, almost like you just had a Red Bull kind of a feeling rather than a cup of coffee. If you know what I mean, it's, it's different levels. So we're working on that right now in the next few months, but the idea is it's an app based product. And so our members subscribe to our app. They basically get unlimited use of all the signals. And then we're launching new signals every couple months. So Hopefully in the next month, we'll be launching our seventh signal. So we're working on things related to diet, performance, blood flow, uh, you know, memory, all these different things. Does that mean, does that mean it can, it can kind of like suppress hunger or, or hunger at certain times a day? Like some people eat at night, like that's a big, big thing, right? People are hungry at nighttime. Could that help suppress hunger and stuff like that? So yeah, this is, it's not public yet, right? Like this is stuff we're working on. So I can't claim that everyone can get it right now, unless you're watching this down the road, go try it out. But um, yeah, that's the goal here. Um, if let's get into the science one more time. So I want to explain this to everyone. We yeah. can't do everything, but we can do what are called non-covalent bonds in the body. We believe that's what's happening here. There are covalent and non-covalent bonds. Let's go back to chemistry for a second. Um, when you take certain vitamins or food or certain types of drugs, those are covalent bonds. We can't do that. We can't mimic anything related to those because that is a chemical bond that has to physically be there to bind to your receptor sites on your cells. We can't do those, but two thirds of all reactions in the universe are non-covalent. A non-covalent bond we believe in what is being proved out all over the world is just an, it's like a charge. It's an exchange of electrons that creates, that creates energy. It's, it's an exchange of energy that causes the protein receptors to change shape, but there's nothing chemically required to bind to the, the cells. Okay. So when you take ibuprofen, all right, it dissolves 
And it doesn't actually create a covalent bond to your receptor sites. It's a non-covalent bond, almost like a remote control charging, you know, like shutting the garage door from afar. That is what we believe um, the technology is capable of. So, so when you say yeah. two, so, so ibuprofen, taking ibuprofen, that's an example of a non-covalent bond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what Any hormone, saying? hormones, stimulants, suppressants, you know, the um, main, the main compounds in coffee and happy hour drinks and muscle relaxants and sleep aids. These are all sort of the same family. There's, there's thousand of these types of uh, molecules that we're hoping to learn more about and mimic with our yeah. technology over the next coming years. You know, there's uh, we talk about different energies. There's certain people that when I hang out with them, I get more energy just being around them. And there's other people that I hang around them and I get like, you know, almost depressed being around them. And, and that's gotta be an energy thing. It could be their delivery of communication too, but um, it, do people give off energy as well to where just by being around someone? You, yeah. You, Get that yeah, work people have, way? yeah. So let's talk about like EMFs for a second, right? There, there are good and bad EMFs. In fact, you should go to Dave Asprey's most, one of his most recent blogs actually had us in it. Uh, he talked about, wait a minute, there's good and there's bad EMFs. Your brain and your heart and your, your body gives off EMFs. Okay. What's EMF? Uh, electromagnetic fields. Okay. okay. So, and then everyone's worried about which, you know, rightly so bad EMFs coming out of power lines or, you know, nuclear power plants, or even out of uh, like the cell phone, a cell phone has a, a lot of EMFs coming off of it. It's pinging satellites all over the, you know, the universe all the time. Right. And so there are things you need to be careful of, well, right. How I could have, that hurt us? How could that hurt us? Like, it, well, like a and you got to be careful too here because, um, it, it can potentially hurt your cells. It can potentially hurt your mitochondria. It can potentially fray neurons. Um, this, the, the data is still inconclusive to a lot of people. There is a book that just came out, uh, Joe Dispenza. Uh, who, who was it, Joe? Uh, I'm not Joe Dispenza. Somebody, another Dr. Joe came out with EMF is a, is a recent book that just came out. It's a great book on certain EMFs that we have to be potentially careful of. Now, it's what's called non-ionizing. So it doesn't necessarily break a lot into the body through the skin, unless it's really powerful. But I think it's kind of like an insurance policy. We should be really careful about certain EMFs. Now we, we would be in the really good category of, you know, electromagnetic frequencies because we can help your body stay balanced. We can help your body rejuvenate. We can help your body feel calm, better sleep, more alert, more productive. Um, and we are about, like one thirty thousandth of whatever comes out of your phone. We're what's called ultra low frequency. Right, right. I mean, it's unbelievably small, um, right. you know, similar to what your brain would put out, right? So we're in the kind of the good category of what can help your body. But, you know, it's, it doesn't hurt to sleep not near your phone yeah, or yeah. put in your pocket or have a laptop on your lap every day when you're working. Like those are smart things to avoid. What, what about like sex drive? Depending on the type of like era you're in in your life, you may have physically some challenges with sex drive, whether it's too much or too little of it, can it improve that? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, and that's related to hormones, right? I mean, depending on your hormone levels of testosterone or estrogen or other types of uh, hormones that affect sex drive or your mental acuity, right? And your overall energy levels, because it's not just those that affect libido. Yeah, yeah. There's a hundred hormones that affect libido. Right. Um, and most of them are in your brain, period. Uh, but I think that, you know, with ours, we are looking at, and this isn't public yet, so we can't claim that it's out there, but we're researching into potential signals that can help couples, right? Can it increase blood flow, right? Can we help um, a couple with a signal called desire, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, those are things that we believe are non-covalent. And so we're studying those actively right now in our labs. I cannot confirm nor deny that I've tried them. Uh, that is not something I can disclose publicly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're, we're working on that too. That's cool. So now Happy, you said it, that wasn't your first business. You started with Apex. Was Apex your first like real business? Yeah, that was the first one. 
Okay, what, what was Apex? Because I like how that turned into, because you had a story where that got affected and then you had to do a whole shift, right? Because it was, was it COVID that kind of helped hurt with that yeah. a little bit? So what well, was yeah, I'm, I'm a serial entrepreneur, right? So my, my major things in life that I care about are mental, mental health and physical health. Those, anything that promotes that, I'm in. And if there's a major problem to be solved, I'm going to solve it. And I'll start a business and create a, a, a game-changing company from it. So first one I started was my wife's a first grade teacher. And she spent a bunch of money on her kids. And she didn't get reimbursed or anything. And I was like, well, that's not okay. And the only type of fundraiser out there was like cookie dough sales at the time and magazine sales, all the stuff that you and I sold when we were kids, right? Well, what people don't realize is those companies take most of the money. It's not healthy and the kids learn, don't learn anything. Uh, parents hate it. So I started something called Apex Fun Run, which became Apex Leadership Company now. Uh, and it was a kind of a brand new way to do school fundraising. So we taught leadership for two weeks. We brought in a young team of athletes right out of college. We taught fitness. Uh, it ended with a huge fun run where the kids run fun, fun laps through a giant tunnel and just a, a blast. Okay. The kids learn incredible lessons. They're getting pledges from all their family and friends. We have daily awards and games. We do all the work and schools loved it. They just totally fell in love with it. They raised twice as much money as they ever raised net. It was healthy. The kids had fun. It was leadership and fitness based and it just blew up. So we started in Phoenix in 2011 and, you know, every year we doubled or tripled for many years. Now we've got a hundred and something franchisees in 38 States. We've got 500 people doing this all over the country and we've helped over three and a half to 4 million kids now. Um, wow learn these lessons and learn about fitness. So it's funny to think, okay, how'd I go from that to a bio, a revolutionary biotech company? Um, well, the truth is I build products. I know tech really well. Like we have, you know, we have a $3 million website just for the kids. I mean, we know how to build tech, app teams, web teams. Um, I've got promotional partners that could do everything. And so I invested in the parent company for Happy many, many years ago. So I've known about this tech as it's been innovating. And so when this idea came about to create like a consumer side, immediately it was like right up my wheelhouse. It was like the perfect combo. And so, you know, these guys are all scientists. And so, but I knew how to communicate it to kind of the everyday man or woman and how to create a product that's sleek, sexy. I mean, this thing is in invisible or you can have it very visible. The Fitbit right. folks helped us design it. Um, oh, really? and so you had, you had help from the Fitbit guys, we had a lot of help from a lot of great design teams. Um, and this app, you know, it took us two years to finish the app, but now the app, you literally download the app, put in your information, uh, your login information, and you can click any second, whatever signal you want for up to four hours and just play it. So waking up in the morning with alert, I use focus every day when I'm doing calls or emails, um, if I'm sore, I use relax right after a workout or if I'm sitting in my lower back for a long time in the chair, um, happy signal after work and sleepy to go to bed. I mean, that's like the main use cases so far. Um, and we've got really sticky data. Our customers love it. What if you hit, how powerful is it? Like, let's say you hit sleepy on accident and you're driving. Could it, could it impact your driving? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not that in, it's like, you're going to like knock yourself out and then hit a pole. Uh, definitely it takes several minutes to start to build, but you know, relaxed. yeah, yes. Yeah. So, you know, we haven't, obviously we tell people don't drive with, with it. Don't use it. If you have a pacemaker, you know, if you're pregnant, we would say no, that there's no necessarily safety issues at all. We just, that's what our lawyers said to do. Um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I, it's actually, people do use it for driving. I'm not saying I recommend that, but there are people that use the alert signal for driving because it helps them drive better. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it takes a few minutes for me. I can feel them all in two to three minutes really? and tell you, you know, I could tell you which one they are. Most people it takes, you know, 15 minutes, maybe their first time. And then it, the more you do it, the faster you can feel the sensations. We've done all of our blinded sham why studies. Why, why does it get, you think it'd be like the opposite, like tolerance with other yeah. things. That's what I was worried about. I, I thought that, you know, people would build up a tolerance over time, but what we're finding is that they're actually building pathways to feel it and sense them faster. 
Because there's nothing that's being rejected by the body. That's what tolerance buildup is, right? right? There's right. nothing. Oh, we have a happy signal that you don't metabolize any any bad alcohol or anything in your body or you know contaminants. You're just right, right. triggering receptors, you know, and making yourself feel good. So uh, the body doesn't reject things that help it, right? So luckily, we go kind of go the other way. Yeah, it creates pathways as opposed to start creating blockers, which means you need to that's dump right. more into it in order to get the effect. Yeah. Wow. That's the body's amazing. I mean, really, the, the way people heal, the way our bodies, I mean, I've learned so much by doing this over the last couple of years. Obviously, I'm not the scientist. We've got a whole team of PhDs that are building out the back end, you know, the, the core technology that's the IP here. But yeah. what I am realizing, man, the world does not have any clue how intricate our brains are, how our cells communicate or how our mitochondrial health affects everything we do. Like there's so many things that are in the kind of the biohacking world that's bleeding edge that, and, and even the functional medicine world, right? There's a lot of people that are, you know, we have a mutual friend, Dr. Rebecca Miller, and so many of the things that I'm learning, she's known for, for years already. It's just not things that are covered by insurance um, that a physician's gonna do, tell you about, because they're, most of them, their goal is to say, okay, you got a problem? Here's your two drugs. Right, well, right, right. my dad has diabetes and, and now he's on two drugs that, that are trying to counteract the effects of the other two drugs. Okay. You tell me that's good. No, yeah. his kidneys are blowing up. It's terrible. He's got swollen ankles. Like that is not how I think effective wellness should go for the long term of humanity. I, I don't think we should just be pumping people full of pills um, and getting them through to age 85 when they die. I, I just don't think that that's the real picture of health. Yeah, and you're you're so focused on it, and 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 you're not just wanting to like read about it. You you're doing what like a hundred day challenge. How many days are you in right now? I'm I am I'm doing my own hundred day challenge with all the people I mentioned. You know they're helping me. Um, I'm on day twenty one. And what's what is this thing? Um, well, you know I think most of your listeners are hard charging you know, go-getters, entrepreneurs, athletes, whatever it would be. Um, I realized I was, I've been hard charging. I can run with the, run with the best of them. I mean, you and I are so alike. It's hilarious. So I've been going 80 to hundred hours for 10 years straight. I don't listen to my body. I didn't before this, um, just put, I mean, we went, we went public in 18 months, man. I mean, it was nuts. Wow. Um, and I think in October, end of October, right before we went public, a couple of days before even my, I just basically broke down. My whole body broke down. Uh, it was stress, um, anxiety. I wasn't sleeping well because I was just so unhealthy. All my trace minerals were messed up. I was like, I couldn't even see straight. It was like, I was so working so hard and I had burnout, just this CEO, executive burnout. It's a real thing. Um, stress management is a real thing. And so when this happened, you know, I was, two weeks later, I went on Dave Asprey's podcast to, you know, millions and millions of people and just shared with him what happened. And he said, all right, man, we're going to fix you. Uh, and he got a whole team together and we just created our own little hundred day deal. And he's been coaching and giving ideas. We got a bunch of doctors. I'm on all these supplements. I found out I have celiac disease for starters. Wow. So no more gluten or dairy. I've got a parasite I found out about that uh, I had to get you, fixed. It was what are you eating doing me. To find this stuff out because because you probably felt fine and looked fine and everything was fine. What do you do? I, first off, I love that Dave Asprey's leading. So Dave Asprey led this idea. For you he was the first one to say you need to get fixed, and he's like, "You're coming to 40 Years of Zen, which I just finished, which is a whole brain week dealing with traumas, and we do 8,000 brain scans. It was an unbelievable week. Um, but then we did." blood sample, stool sample, urine sample, met with the doctors. They gave me all the readings. I'm doing my DNA test right now. I'm on over a dozen different supplements and stuff for my gut. I found out I'm, I'm like, I don't have 12 of the top types of bacteria. <laughs> I, I, you, people don't realize this. I thought I was okay. I'm generally healthy. I've been doing CrossFit for six years. I don't eat like a crazy person. My wife is gorgeous and she cooks great. Like I, I eat very well and I thought, but I also had like general malaise and issues with my stomach over the last several years. I just thought it was business stress and I got to suck it up because I'm an entrepreneur and blah, 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 and stop whining kind of feeling. But and it wasn't until I started this challenge and realized I really need to get help when I realized all these issues about my body 
I, I wasn't able to break down nutrients in my stomach to create something called butyric acid. And that butyric acid is vital for calming down your central nervous system, the GABA system. I literally could not calm down my body, man. Like 24 seven, I was on high alert, high stress, and I didn't have the chemicals in my body to be able to do it. Happy kind of saved my life. This is the irony of all this. Like I was used, I've been using happy and it's like almost kept me alive for the last year and a half. It's crazy. It's the only thing that was helping regulate my system. And so this hundred days is basically me sharing with the world because we're doing it all live. It's on happy.com slash hundred days. You can go check it out. H A P B E E dot com slash hundred days one zero zero. And you can just see it. We're vlogging every couple of days We're they're tracking my sleep stats every day with aura, my, my recovery score with whoop. I've got a constant glucose monitor tracking all of my eating and my um, metabolic score, blood levels, blood glucose levels all day, every day. Uh, I've got my happy use listed there. It's crazy. And I'm just sharing all the things I'm learning. So I got some questions. So you say 12 supplements. What are some of the supplements that you're taking? Oh, I should probably go look at them. I've got like a whole list of things I'm taking, but um, when they found out about my gut, that was the first one. Uh, and then when they found out, you know, I was, I was low on so many of the prebiotic, probiotic, flora, um, bacteria in my gut. And that was really what was causing so many issues. They immediately, you know, that's like four or five different pills in the morning. I also am on a plant-based protein, um, protein, uh, drink in the morning, just like, a, just like you would like whey powder but it's just a, a plant-based. I also found out with the celiacs, I have to do gluten-free and dairy-free for the last three weeks. It's been crazy shift, but I already feel way better. I've lost 10 pounds of fat already. Just eating more. I eat 500 days. calories more. Hold on. You, you lost 10 pounds in 10 days? I lost 10 pounds in the last 20, 20 days. 20 days. Really? Of fat. Yep. And I've gained muscle and I have been eating more every day, about four to five, 600 calories more a day. I'm just not eating the junk that I was eating before. I'm doing gluten-free, I'm doing dairy-free, I'm doing sugar-free. That alone is allowing my body to process food better. I'm absorbing more nutrients. Um, my muscles are growing much easier. I'm on, a, I mean, it's just so much, I feel a million times better. I'm more acute. I read like an eight page single space document the other day in like five or six minutes. I am a terrible reader. I thought I was, but I am so much, I have so much more acuity already in three weeks of doing this program. So yeah, I mean, this, you know, no one knows this stuff until you hit 60 or 70 and stuff starts really breaking down and you got to go to a doctor and then they just give you a bunch of pills. Yeah. Preventative is, I think that it's the way of the future. I think in, if the problem is there's no money in it, there's no money in preventative medicine. There's like, like you, you you're involved in fitness and, you know, people going to work out and going to gyms. Do you have any idea what the cost of obesity and diabetes and all these issues that hit our world? Do you know what the cost is? It's absolutely, it's astronomical. Why not just pay 50 bucks a month and, and work out as much as you can when you're young? You know, it'll save our system trillions of dollars. Really? Right. Absolutely. And, and so with, with the diet that you've got, I know what you're not able to eat. Um, Meat is one that's been like kind of, uh, what do you call it? Very co controversial. Whether controversial. It, yeah. Are you eating meat? I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm so Whitney Jones, who we both know, she's helped me a lot with this. Um, a palm full of meat is about four ounces. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so my goal is three to three times uh, a day to try to get a palm full of some sort of a protein. Okay. And then I'm just doing really high veggies sugar, low sugar fruits, a ton of veggies, any veggie is good. Um, except I found out through the constant glucose monitor that onions and garlic, uh, spike my glucose. So I'm staying away from those. I'm also staying away from nightshades like potatoes and sticking with sweet potatoes and things like that. Is that, is that cause um, is that for you or is that like, for, anyone? It, it's for me. If anyone really wants to know the bulletproof diet is really good. I highly recommend checking out. There's even a PDF on Google you can find or go to you know, bulletproof.com and just download their PDF of what they recommend for their diet. Um, but yeah, so you know, getting the right types of fats in your body. Um, you, I, I stick to low sugar 
fruit. So like berries are very good. Strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, those are low sugar. Oranges, apples, and bananas are high sugar. So just limit those. Um, and then, you know, getting gluten out of my diet alone just made me feel 10 times better. Wow. Um, so yeah, just little things I'm learning and it's not hard. Like I just told you, I was eating more food, not less. Yeah. Um, it just was being processed so much more. Yeah. So what, what tests did you do? I know you did, you said a blood test, a urine test, a stool test. Where did you go for these tests? Like, I know there's companies out there that can, they'll send you stuff. I did life extensions and I know there's a company like Viacom. That's Naveen Jane's company. Yeah. Um, Biome. 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 Yeah. Biome. Yeah. So, so there, um, I went to, um, holistic urgent care is our mutual friend, Dr. Rebecca Miller's place. $1,500 to do all this stuff. I've had friends that pay five to $10,000 to do all the workups. It's 1500 for this. It's not bad. They did over 55 different tests. I also found out I was completely um, void of trace minerals. I was low on all these vitamins. I had zero vitamin A, vitamin D, B12, B5, zinc, and magnesium. None of it even registered on the test. So they were like, you are, your body and mind are literally going like a pedal to the metal on full speed and you have no gas or oil in the tank. Yeah. And so I'm so thankful I, I'm doing this early on. I mean, could you imagine if people did this every couple of years, just get checked. I mean, you know, I was, I found out that my cells are so rigid that they weren't absorbing fat for energy. And it put me in the pre-cancer, pre-dementia category. I'm pre-diabetic. I had no clue. I'm like 0.1 off of being pre-diabetic. Wow. And so these things I had no idea. And so now I'm able to prevent and use preventative very cheap, a couple hundred bucks of different supplements and things. And honestly, using happy for a lot of the mental health and keeping myself calm and getting more energy without putting sugar and caffeine and powder and pills in my body. That wow. all is so good for your overall health. The, the cost of chemo, for, for elderly people or people that get cancer in their fifties plus is 150 grand a month. That's the cost. Okay. That is the average cost of chemotherapy nationwide right now, a month. And you just don't, don't just, you don't just do it for a month. People do this for a year. They do it for at least six months for these things. That's a million dollars a treatment. Think about that. What? Okay. So I caught early dementia and cancer. And they, they said that by doing this process and walking down this road, I not only am going to save myself from mental issues of Alzheimer's and dementia, which is a whole nother expense on the system, but I'm, I caught early on cancer and they, they, that if I remove myself out of early on, you know, early cancer issues and I delay it maybe 30 years or something like that, think about the cost that that saves to the system. Millions, just me. Okay. So I think it's, it's extremely valuable for people to think this way. You know, anyone listening, it, it is worth the investment to find out what's going on inside you. Not just a little physical, get a, a urine and a stool and a blood sample, like get a test and just yeah. see if there's anything that you, you need to be aware of. It, it will help you. you. You did all three of those at the Holistic Urgent Care, right? Yeah, they outsourced it so that, you know, it ships it to your house and then you ship it out. It was, it was yeah. very easy to do. I had to get blood there give blood there. But the other ones that just came to my house, they ordered them it was a couple hundred bucks each. Not is bad. That, is, that the, is that the same place you and I were at when we got the blood? Uh, what was okay. it? Oxygen, oxygenated blood? Yeah. That was part of the hundred days, uh, a precursor, the ozone therapy, ozone. super oxygenates your blood. And I added vitamins in. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of crazy stuff, man. I'm doing cold, cold pools, saunas, breath hold, breathing exercises, um, compression, red light therapy. And that's just the, the basic. And then I'm going high like peptides and we're looking at stem cell work. We're looking at really, really intense stuff going on. And then this 40 years of Zen last week was unbelievable for my, for my mind. Where do you go so, for that? That was up in Seattle. It's one of Dave's companies. It's, it's a week long program. It's, it is expensive, but it's amazing. I mean, it's like clearing out your brain. It's, it's the best way to deal with trauma I've experienced. Um, dealing with feeling love for the first time, yeah. gratitude, um, moving through different traumas in your life, but they also train your brain, like literally put nodes all over your brain all week and have you go through like exercises and they track certain alpha and theta and gamma waves and help you learn techniques to increase those um, to be more productive. 
Uh, yeah, and, and is Dave the guy? I don't know if I heard a rumor about this. He has a goal to live to 160. That's his thing. 180. 180. So he's going to live yeah. to 180 years old. We'll see how that works. I'm excited to see. I mean, if anyone's focused on it more than anybody else, it's him. How much is that 40? You said it's expensive. What does that cost, the 40 years of Zen? Uh, I think it's upwards of $15,000 for the week. So it's expensive. But, I mean, it, it depends. I, I've already seen all of the close relationships in my life uh, better in the last five days, six days. Uh, way better. I would, I would pay that in a heartbeat if I, if I only had that much left, it was, it's been incredible. I mean, the, my business is already, I'm more clear on strategy. I'm, pr I'm already solving bigger problems. It's like, I don't know. It's like rocket fuel. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I don't want to not talk about my first sale. Cause I was, so, I thought that was so cool when you showed me this, you and I were sitting down and we were talking and you mentioned that you have this website for kids and yeah. it's called myfirstsale.com. Is that what it is? Myfirstsale.com? Yeah, it's basically Etsy for kids. And we teach them all about entrepreneurship. We give them step-by-step -step videos that are a couple minutes long to help them find an idea that they love, learn all about profit, grit, delayed gratification, expenses, pitching um, customers, how to price it. And then we give them their own web page that they fill out with a video and products and they go out and they start selling it to their community and they create a cool business from home, find a product I, they love and serve people. I saw the website and you have like all the kids sharing their results. Like they're sharing their numbers and how much money they're making. And some yeah. of them, you know, to us, it's like they made $480, but to the kids are like, we made $480. And I remember being a kid, if I made $480. In, in oh my gosh. Yeah. We have like, we have like, uh, we have these like two 12 or 13 year old and 11 year old brothers made $5,000 already in selling their own t-shirts. Wow. Like it's just amazing. And the kids fall in love with right. entrepreneurship and they don't worry about the future. They have incredible confidence in the future. They're not scared anymore because they realize, Hey, this is easy. I can find something that others need and want and get it to them and yeah. create something of value. I mean, that it's amazing how it empowers kids. And so, yeah, we've got thousands of kids joining the program and launching their own business. Average kids making them around 500 bucks, I think, four to 500 bucks. Wow. And I saw you have a podcast on there as well for the kids to listen to, which I let my kids listen to the Kevin Harrington one. But you- yep, Young Grit. It's called Young Grit Podcast. I'll have to get you on. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So the Young Grit Podcast. And so this is where you get really established business people and entrepreneurs to come on and teach they know their audience, it's kids. So they're not teaching in, you know, big terms or speaking, like they're speaking to kids. Right. Which right. honestly they should speak in the same way anyway. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's just, like yeah, we, we ask big names and big entrepreneurs uh, and world, world leaders, what, what was their first business as a kid? What was the thing that set them off to success? what they learn? How can they inspire other kids to do the same thing? And everyone has an awesome story. I mean, my first business was in third grade selling bead geckos door to door, my buddies, I'd pay them a quarter to make them in, in, at school and sell them all over the, the, the town. And uh, I loved it. I learned, I got suspended eventually because no, none of the kids were going to recess. They were all inside of my sweatshop making <laughs> bead geckos for me. Uh, but I learned a million things about business. I got so much confidence from it. And everybody has those kinds of stories, you know, before they make it big. And so it inspires kids. Yeah, that's really cool. That's exciting, man. Well, I'm, I'm very excited for the journey. I'm excited to go check out um, happy.com forward slash 100 days. I want to see what you've been up to and how you've been doing it. I'm also going to pay a, a visit to Holistic Urgent Care to get myself fully checked out. I really want to kind of get real deep. It's been about two to three years since I've done a deep dive, and it doesn't seem like it was this deep. And um, uh, Apex sounds like an awesome company. I can't believe how many incredible investors you've got for Happy already. I can't believe you got it public in 18 months. And the things that you guys are looking to accomplish with it. Is and I'll give your I'll give your audience a, um, a discount too. We'll throw 50 bucks off at least, maybe 80 I, I, for a limited time. It's happy.com slash Mike Garcy. So okay. I'll, yeah, M-I-K-A-R-C-E. We'll give everybody that link and that'll yes. be up for the next couple months for folks who want to go there. Yep. And for the audience that's listening in, M, uh, so H-A-P-B-E-E.com forward slash M-I-K-E. A-R-C-E. Cool? Wow. 
Awesome. All right, Scott, thanks so much, man. I'm, I'm, I was interested in uh, in your world before, but now I feel like I gotta hang out with you for a full day to find out what the hell you're doing. You got you got so much happening. So thanks so much for spending the time with us and, and sharing all this. It means a lot. We'll do our weekend sled pull here coming up in the next couple of weeks. How's that? <laughs> Sounds good, man. I'll see you there. For everyone watching, for everyone listening, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.